Hey food lovers, welcome to Neri's Kitchen. Today, we'll be going through nine questions that some people may be too afraid to ask. Remember, there is no such thing as a stupid question and we all need to learn in some way or another. I've done my fair share of cooking and have worked with so many knowledgeable people on the show. So answering cooking questions like, how much water do I need to cook rice or do eggs have to be refrigerated are all really great things to ask because we will all want to save some time and money. Let's get started. Okay, so the first question that I received was how to cook rice. It's actually pretty simple. Um, so basically you need two cups of water for every one cup of rice. Also, you can easily double the recipe or reduce the recipe if so. So remember two parts to one. Um, and also just make sure that you're using a pot that's large enough to hold the rice as uh, the rice does cook and expand out. Um, so the first step that you want to do is you want to rinse your rice until the water comes out clear. It's about, I would say, two or three rinses. Um, you want to bring the rice and the water to a boil. And then once it reaches a boil, you want to simmer the pot with a lid until um, the water is absorbed into the rice. Just want to make sure that you don't mix the rice because if you mix it, it's not rice anymore. It'll become kind of like uh, like congee almost. So make sure you don't touch the rice, don't mix it. And this whole process should take about 15 or 20 minutes. Or there's another way you can always use um, the finger method. Uh, I'm actually don't use a finger method. It's too complicated, but some people tell me you can use your fingers and make sure that the water hits a line on your finger. Right, Jerome? Yes. <laughs> Okay, second question, is wild caught salmon really healthier than farm raised salmon? The answer is yes. Um, the reason why it's healthier is because there's more usable omega-3 fats and there's significantly fewer antibiotics and pesticides and there's no synthetic pigments added for color. Also, it's more environmentally responsible. Third question I have here is, is it true that eggs that have never been refrigerated don't actually need to be? The answer is yes. Fresh, unrefrigerated and unwashed eggs can be stored at cool room temperature at around 75 degrees for up to two weeks. Guess you didn't, I didn't know that before but I actually had to look it up. Okay, so our, our next question is, what does marinating do to meat? Uh, so a marinade adds flavor to foods and it makes the meat more tender by actually breaking down the process of cooking. This action can be due to acidic ingredients such as vinegar, wine or fruit juices or enzymatic components such as pineapple, papaya, guava or ginger. Okay, one of my favorite questions, what's the best way to melt chocolate? Honestly, just if you have chocolate, chop it up into small pieces. The smaller, the better, that way it melts faster. Um, so what you can do is you can melt in the microwave for 30 second intervals. And then every 30 seconds, just make sure that you stir it completely until it's smooth and then put it back in the microwave to keep melting it. Um, you just have to be careful because chocolate does burn, which is why we say watch it every 30 seconds. Pasta, so what's the best way to boil pasta? I get this a lot. Um, Honestly, you know what, just make sure that you have a big pot um, and make sure you have lots of water. Your pasta needs lots of water to boil. You want to um, make sure that the water is boiled first uh, and then you can add your pasta into the water. Make sure that you just stir it a couple times just to prevent the noodles from sticking together um, and cook it according to the package directions to make sure that the noodles are al dente, which is firm, not mushy, right? And you want to just stir it occasionally until it's your desired texture. And then you want to drain it and then toss it with your sauce. Don't rinse it because once you rinse it, then you wash out all of the starches, right? And you want your sauce to stick to your pasta. So make sure you don't rinse it. Okay. Another question. What side of the foil are you supposed to cook on? Uh, it's funny you ask this because I was actually looking on my foil for directions, right? There, there is nothing on it, but technically the shiny side. Um, but, but the difference is so small, so who cares, right? Potatoes, potatoes. So technically the shiny side, if you don't use the shiny side, not a big deal. Okay, burgers. What's the best method for cooking a burger indoors at home without a grill? I would say using a cast iron griddle or a grill pan. 
um, just so you get it's it, it's really hot right so you want your pan to be really really hot and also you want those nice grill marks as well and then you want to make sure that you flip only once and never press onto the patty once you press onto the patty all the juices release and you don't want a dry patty and also once you press on it um, it can cause oil to splatter right and then it could, it could become dangerous so never press onto the patty make sure that you open your window to air out your home as well you don't want your smoke alarms to go off right it's actually happened to us before <laughs> Okay, so turkey, does turkey really make you sleepy? The answer is yes. And the reason why it makes you sleepy is because turkey contains tryptophan. Uh, and tryptophan is an, am an amino acid that the body needs to make vitamin B3 and uh, serotonin and a hormone that helps you relax. So yes, turkey makes you feel sleepy. All right, so those are all the questions that I have today. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have additional questions, feel free to message me or make sure you comment um, in the section below. And uh, thanks, for, thanks guys for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye guys.